Hey guys, so what I decided to do in addition to some of my review videos is once in a while I'm going to upload a how-to video. Why? Because sometimes things are just too damn expensive so you have to do it yourself. Do it yourself. But a while back I had a couple friends, Jordan and Kate, who just bought a cargo trailer and they were going to convert that into a camper. And it was the most affordable option for them but what they needed to do was install a window in it to create more of a ventilated area to get, keep out some of the moisture. And we didn't really find a lot of tutorials on that yet. So what I'm going to show you next is the process, the tools, everything it took to just cut out uh, the shape of a window inside of a cargo trailer. So enjoy. So this is the trailer my wife and I bought that we were converting into a camper. And today we're putting in windows. Since the trailer is not level, I can't just put a level on it, you know what I mean? Okay, I've cut the metal right here and right here on the inside. And now I'm gonna bend this piece down 90 degrees and the, the frame for the window will sit in between these two pieces of metal and sit on the 90 degree bent metal. And I'll put a screw through here, a screw up through the bottom as well. What I'm doing now is I'm putting the frame in, which I'm bolting the studs to the frame using these pieces here. And basically how I made the frame is I traced out on a piece of half inch plywood the rim of the window. And since I got about an inch of depth here between the outside of the stud and the sheet metal, I took two pieces of half, half inch plywood, glued them together and clamped them so it fits nicely in there and is fully supported. <laughs> Press on it. Okay, well it's yellow if you're going to. using a Craftsman and a Perform Max oscillating saw. They're useful for a bunch of different types of projects. They're good for wood and metal. I'll put the link to them on Amazon in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're putting butyl tape along this edge of the window. This basically replaces caulking, gives you a really good seal. And I'll be putting this in a link in the description below. So you want to make sure that you start at the very bottom, go all the way around, and then overlap the beginning part of the tape by about a half inch. You want to do that because if you were to put that seam at the top, you'd have leaks. Time to put it in.
That was our cargo trailer window install. I hope you found that useful. And my friend Nick, he helped us film today. Right now he has his own YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And thanks for watching. Hi. <laughs> in below, we're supposed to go ding. The link will ting. Ting. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video beneficial to you. If you have any questions, I'll try to do my best to answer them in the comments below. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. Check out my other review videos and uh, catch you next time.